Good day everyone, I am Hamza Isamim and my partner is Eliza Claire M. Wu and we will be talking about Helen C. Erickson's theory. Now, Helen was born in 1936 and she firmly believes that being a nurse is her calling in life. She started as the head nurse of the Midland Community Hospital Emergency Room in Midland, Texas. These are the following awards and achievements of Helen. Two of which are her acceptance of the Sigma Theta Tau Rho Chapter Award in 1980. She also received the Amoco Foundation Good Teaching Award in 1982. One of her latest award was in 2014. Helen was honored with the American Holistic Nurses Association and Holistic Nurse of the Year Award for her outstanding and ongoing work in furthering holistic nursing. Helen Erickson introduced us to the modeling and role modeling theory, which she was able to explain both. She states that modeling is the process the nurse use as they develop an image and an understanding of the client's situation, or as we call the client's world. She believes that the art of modeling is the development of a mirror image of the situation from the client's perspective. She believes that modeling occurs as the nurse accepts and understands her client. On the other hand, role modeling for Helen occurs when the nurse plans and implements interventions that are unique for the client. She believes that the science of role modeling occurs as the nurse plan interventions with respect to her theoretical base for the practice of nursing. She believes that it requires an unconditional acceptance of the person as the person is while gently encouraging and facilitating growth and development. These are the major concepts and definition from Helen. She believes that nursing is the holistic helping of persons with their self-care activities in relation to their health. Nurturance fuses and integrates cognitive, physiological, and affective processes with the aim of assisting a client to move toward holistic health. Unconditional acceptance for Helen is being accepted as a unique, worthwhile, important individual with no strings attached is imperative if the individual is to be facilitated. Holism implies that the world is great and some of the parts. Basic needs, all humans are, I mean, have basic needs that can be satisfied but only from within the framework of that individual. Lifetime development for Helen evolves through psychological and cognitive stages. Psychological stages for Helen represents a developmental task resulting in a turning point, which is the moment of decision between alternative basic attitudes. Cognitive stages means that it considers how thinking develops rather than what happens in psychological or affective development. There are four distinct stages, according to Helen, sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operations, and formal operations. Proceeding to affiliated individuation, it means that individuals have an instinctual need for AI, which means affiliated individuation. They need to be able to depend on support systems while simultaneously maintaining independence. Adaptation, according to Helen, means that individual responds to external and internal stressors. Mind-body-emotion-spirit relationship means that it is a biophysical, psychosocial beings who wants to develop our potential, which is to be the best of we can be. Self-care, according to Helen, involves the use of knowledge, resources, and action. Self-care resources, according to Helen, means that it is the internal resources as well as additional resources that help us gain, maintain, and promote an optimum level of holistic health. According to Helen, self-care action means that it is a development and utilization of self-care knowledge and self-care resources. Now, Helen Erickson was able to introduce us to the seven themes that emerged as she was interviewing patients to determine their model of the world, which are the cause of the problem, which was unique to the individual, related factors, expectation for the future, types of perceived control, affiliation, 
lack of affiliation, trust in the caregiver. Now, let's proceed to the relationship of the modeling and role modeling theory to the four meta paradigms of nursing, which are the person nursing itself, environment, and in health. In the scope of nursing, Helen uh, states that the nurse is a facilitator, not an effector. It means that we provide help to our patient that will help their situation get lighter. It doesn't necessarily mean that we have the maximum control of everything. She highlights the nurse-client relationship, which highlights the importance of both individuals' effort in making the health or the situation of the client better. Now, there are also five aims of nursing intervention according to Helen. First is to build trust. Uh, build trust. Second is to affirm and promote client strengths. Third is to promote positive orientation, facilitate perceived control, and lastly, to set health-directed mutual goals. Goals. Now, proceeding to the paradigm of per, uh, I mean to the paradigm of person, she has she she defined I mean there is a differentiation made between patients and client. She believes that the patient is given treatment and instructions while a client participates in his or her own care. So um, I do believe that client um, having a client is a lot better because um, both of you are giving effort to make the situation lighter. Now the goal um, according to Helen is that the nurses to work with the client. The client is always the primary source of data. Proceeding to the paradigm of health, Helen believes that it is the state of physical, mental, and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease of infirmity. Helen states that it is a state of dynamic equilibrium among the various subsystems. Helen also highlighted the importance of being holistic on everything that we do as nurses. She believes that it's, um, health is affected by the individual spiritual drive, which has greater influence on the person's total state of well-being than any of the subsystems. Now, lastly, the environment paradigm. She believes that it is, I mean, it, environment in this um, theory is not identified in the theory as an entity of its own, but theorists see environment in the social subsystem as the interaction between self and other, um, may, others, it may be cultural and individual. Biophysical stressors are seen as part of the environment. Now, those are just uh, those are the summary of Helen's theory, which is the modeling and role modeling theory. And thank you very much. Again, this is Hamza Hamim and my partner is Eliza Claire Wu. And have a great day. Thank you.